My name is Roger Sears. I'm the Capital Improvements Director for the South Carolina Department of Transportation. And we are here in Columbia at our headquarters building. We maintain all of the roads and bridges within the state. We have on any given day around 900 people working out of our headquarters building, which is 225,000 square feet. And we're facing several challenges in this building. Uh, we had outdated infrastructure for our MEP. Our systems were over 40 years old. We were buying steam and chill water from a, from a sister agency about a half mile away. Our building over the past 40 years has had a lot of renovations. During those times, we didn't do any upgrades to the, to the mechanical system. So what we end up with is a uh, building that has a lot of hot spots in it, a lot of cold spots in it, very inefficient system. Uh, we were in this building, we were paying about $400,000 a year in energy costs. So SEDOT had some uh, unique needs, and one of them was they really desired to have their own central energy plant and heating plant, and thankfully we were able to accomplish that for them. Aside from that, it was addressing comfort issues and also trying to improve energy efficiency in, in the headquarters building. Since the completion of the project, we've seen a decrease in our energy consumption of about 40%. Um, this is a large building, 225,000 square feet. So you can imagine how much of a savings it is uh, by upgrading our mechanical systems. My name is Britt Pate. I'm project manager here at SCDOT. We had a lot of complaints about sick building syndrome. This building was built in 1976, probably occupied in 1978. And back in the day, our employees could smoke. And so when we went through and what Train really did was they came up with a company to provide us with replacement VAV boxes. So many employees have told me I can actually feel the air moving now out of my supplies. I can hear it moving. And before it just wasn't moving through our duct system. Before the train project was completed, I didn't really have any way of knowing what my issues were. I would get a text, automated phone call. A lot of times I had to drive 20, 30 minutes just to see what the problem is. Now through train, I'm able to see what my problem is, pinpoint what it is, no matter, no matter my location. I'm able to contact a tech if needed before I even get to the job. Um, that's saved time and money. The relationship with Train's team worked out great. Uh, they were always available by phone. They were here every week. They were very, very knowledgeable. We had one shot at doing this, right? We only got the funding one time. We knew we had to have a good partner that had the experience and expertise. And so that's what we were looking for looking for an expert to come in and, and guide us on how to execute this project. 